one of the British citizens that worked very hard towards the subjugation and the conquest of the area that later became Nigeria was George Tabmangode. Please, if you're watching us for the very first time, please subscribe to our channel and click on the notification icon so that anytime we drop a new content, you will be one of the earliest persons to be notified. Tabangodai played very important role towards strengthening the control of the British over the area that later became Nigeria. He first visited Nigeria or he first visited the Nigerian area in 1877. His main aim was to effectively make the area that later became Nigeria to be under the influence of the British or to be a part of the British Empire. Well, this may be instruction given to him, but basically, he was a businessman and was highly interested in business activities, but showed very serious interest in exploitative activities towards the utilization or the greatness of the British. For over 20 years, Tabangodai worked in the interior of the Nigerian area or the hinterland of the Nigerian area. He worked so hard towards the realization of the British Empire ambition. Before he came to the Nigerian area, there were some achievements that were recorded by some other British subjects or citizens. Backed by the British government, for instance, George Beecroft was able to subdue Lagos in 1851. John Beecroft was very instrumental towards the conquest of Lagos by the British. He utilized the problem associated with uh, political tozo, the leadership tozo of the rulers of Lagos. In one part was Kosoko, in the other part was Akitoye. The issue of political tozo degenerated to a point when John Beecroft utilized such opportunity to take over Lagos, making Lagos a colony of the British. Going back to Tabangode, Gode's main activities were to follow up on the achievements of other British citizens that came before him. He was highly outstanding in the area of administration. Having realized that there were threats posed by mainly the French and the Germans, he came to the conclusion that if the British did not have the political control of the interior, the British supremacy in the commercial area alone will not be sufficient to force other European competitors out of the hinterland of the Nigerian area. This simply means that he felt that the only thing that will give the British firm control of commercial activities, exploitation activities, was very easy, which was mainly for the British to put up strong political control of the area. 
Well, Godet was also worried that the competitors, and that other European competitors, might eventually gain the political control of the interior of the Nigerian area. Before this period, the British and the British government and other British subjects who are into business or trade we are mainly operating in the coastal areas with little or some operations in the interior. But these operations cannot be said to be strong in the sense uh, in the sense that they didn't have any political control. And this was the basic intention of George. That man go there. To achieve this, Godet made attempts to sign treaties with some local leaders. He was believed to have signed about 37 treaties with the native chiefs in the Niger Benue area. The treaties signed by Godet in the region helped the British to lay claim over the Nigerian area during the Berlin Conference of 1884-1885. The British presented the treaties as evidences of their influence in the region thereby laying strong claim to the region. Taman Gode was instrumental towards the formation of the Royal Niger Company, having secured, having secured this influence through the Berlin Conference outcome. The British government started working towards permanently putting down their influence on the area. So a level of trust was given to Taman Gode because of his activities. To achieve this, Taman Gode was very focused towards making political impact. This he did by overseeing the formation of the Royal Niger Company. The Royal Niger Company was formed by the coming together of some other British businessmen. They brought together all their businesses, all their firms under one umbrella in order to have solid influence and solid platform to operate and also to oppose their competitors. The Royal Ninja Company was formed by British citizens. And Tabangode played a very important role towards the formation. Furthermore, Tabangode requested for authority from the British government. Because of the trust they have for him, the British government granted charter to the Royal Niger Company to administer the Nigerian area on their behalf. This company was formed by the coming together of British citizens that were doing, that were doing business in that, in that area. Goda played a very important role towards the operations of this company. So he was very instrumental towards achieving this charter. In order to make this work, the Royal Niger Company started administering the area for the, on behalf of the British. They carried out extensive conquest in some parts of the area where some stubborn leaders decided not to adhere to the instruction. They established a lot of taxes, established 
a lot of tariffs, business tariffs, and also some other political activities. Godel was instrumental towards the introduction of the British judicial system in the Nigerian area. Although the misbehaviors or um, very terrible practices of the Royal Niger Company later led to the British removal of the Tata Chata and made the British to work towards establishing government control over the Nigerian area by themselves. This brought about the introduction and the execution of the indirect rule system in the Nigerian area. Well, the bottom line is, was this, that you cannot... The bottom line was this, that uh, Tamangode played very important role towards establishing and strengthening the influence of the British in the Nigerian area. Please, if you're watching us for the very first time, subscribe to our channel and click on the notification icon so that anytime we drop a new content, you'll be one of the earliest persons to be notified. We also beg you to share our contents so that our contents will reach as many people as possible. Thanks for being part of this channel.